What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. Yeah, if I look like I'm tired or I'm beat, I am. I had a hell of a day, man. <laughs> But regardless whether or not I had a hell of a day and welcome on back to TK's Garage. I still also got to give you guys what I'm looking at at auction this week. And before I go to bed, I'm going to bed early. It's only, uh, let's look here, 9.45 p.m. on a Tuesday. 9.45 p.m. on a Tuesday. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to look at... The vehicles that I want to bid on, which you guys will see, I'll probably publish this early in the morning. But then think about this, the auction starts at 9.30. So I'll probably set this to publish around 10.30 or so in the morning. That way, the vehicles that I'm interested in, I probably already got. And I won't have people doing troll bids on me. I don't know if I'm going to get you. I, this is my natural hair color. This is the color of my hair when I was a kid. And now I'm just like, I don't know. But... So, I've been moving, I've been traveling, and I have some super awesome content to bring to you guys soon. Um, thankfully, the BMW made it through all that bullshit, catching air, slamming on its suspension. And major shout out to J&E Automotive and to those guys over there that kind of like maintain that car and put the new shocks and struts and all that stuff on it. Because I think if it was like ragged and did that, I would have been eating shit. It would have been, I would have been in a jam. But let's go ahead. I'm getting off track here. Let's go ahead and jump in and look at what vehicles I'm thinking about picking up this week. And um, then you guys will get to see the auction the next day and see if I want anything. How about that? But let's go ahead and look. Let's preview some of the stuff now and see if there's anything that's interesting. So we got 10 hours and 43 minutes till pre bid closes. Let's look and see what vehicles they have coming up that might be interesting. What is up with this? Is the engine and whatnot okay though? Because that could be a cool little conversion project. Does it run? Wait a minute. Front end. Salvage. Comments AH doesn't say whether it runs or not huh you know what we'll add it to the watch list somebody's already bid on it for 25 bucks we'll go ahead and throw a bid on it for 50 just to see oh someone's already bid well that way at least be in my in my thing so hondas hondas not really into the hondas Ooh, what's up with this I like the A3 wagon, man. But that damage, boy. And I know y'all are going to be like, it's a Volkswagen, TK, don't do it. It's a Volkswagen, don't do it. I'm going to add this to the watch list. Maybe if it goes cheap. I need to get into a real rebuild. You know, I, I know I do. Here's an ele a Q5. That thing is garbage. No, I'm not even going to look at that. <laughs> My God. They make me mad. This thing has been up for several weeks. I'm guessing they're not taking the bids. We've been on this too. We've been on this. God, what did we get this thing to? 2100 or whatever before we dropped out? It's got 300,000 miles, man. And, and, and the damage. I don't know what they think they're going to get out of this car. It's a clapped out. It is a clapped out A4 with a gas engine. It's not even like it's a diesel. It's a gas. Oh, crap. It's a gas engine. This is another one. I'll drop a pre-bid on it just so I know it, it'll, you know, notify me, notify me when it's coming up. Yeah, I'm not, but I'm not going to try it. I mean, I took that thing at 2100 bucks, and I think the, I think it got as high as almost three grand. Like people were, I can't believe people were bidding on that thing like that, man. Same thing. Look at this Prius. The axle's probably bent, severe body damage, 140,000 miles. It's an 07, 
you know, you're probably going to have to do some stuff to the battery pack. It's at 350 bucks. Uh, I'll watch it. But electric cars, man, unless they're like super cheap, like hybrids and stuff, I just don't mess with them, man. I just don't mess with them. Now, is this an actual collision and it ripped out the suspension? Ooh, no. The bed's done. The window's busted out. And the suspension is all ripped out. Yeah. Is it gas or diesel? It is gas. Nope, I'm good. I'm good on that. All right, we got a Civic, we got a G6. Hey, here's that Tahoe again. We bid on this one last, oh shit, we bid on this two weeks in a row. Current bid is, look at this, man. They're at 3,825 bucks at the salvage auction with 162,000, oh my God, man. They're, uh, like, I, this is the stuff, man. Like, I don't know what it is. I thought it was just because it was the first of the month last week. Because usually IAA is not like this, man. But they are tripping ball sacks, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. Let's look at this Cadillac. It's at 2500 It's got hail damage. See, the thing I like about silver cars, though, they hide the hail damage. Look at this. Let me put it in HD. What do I got to do to put it in Do I got to do anything to put it in HD mode? Damn, I guess I got to go out, huh? Or maybe it doesn't let me put it in that mode, but you can see the hail dings and stuff on the trunk lid, right? The roofs is going to have them. Look at this pillar back here in the rear. Ooh, this whole side. Silver hides it pretty good, though. If this car went cheap, you know, if the car went cheap enough, it would be worth it. It would be worth it, you know? CTS sedan performance. What motor does that have? 3.6? Get the hell out of here. Performance. Performance my nuts. No friggin' performance. Fake news. Alright. 1994 F-150. This is actually not bad. I mean, it needs paint. Ugh. I, I, I don't understand this, man. Yo, if your car, if you're going to sell your truck or car or whatever and you send it, like, clean your dirty diapers and beer cans out of it, man. I mean, you probably got, look at this, there's probably some, some diapers, some da -dun -da -dun -dun in there, some lotion. Why you got lotion and, man, nasty, nasty. Stationary. I bet you it runs. Oh, it's, never mind. It's pedal. I'm good. Back. I'm getting right up out of there. I'm straight. <laughs> if you don't know why I don't buy things from pedal, just go back and watch other videos where I talked about them. I just, I just don't. All right, 2010 Chevrolet Colorado. Ooh, you got your wigs peeled back on that one. You were scrapping. Oh, yo. You were scrapping and your truck got nailed. Full of scrap. That don't make no damn sense, man. None. Oh, I got it. Hold on. And this is a theft. This is a... Oh, oh, did you steal the truck and you were scrapping with a stolen truck? That's like, please take me straight to jail. Do not pass go. Don't collect too. Because you know when you're scrapping... You automatically draw attention to yourself. So now you're in a red, bright red truck full of scrap metal. That says, take me to jail. <laughs> Do not pass go. Don't collect $200. You immediately go to jail. All right, let's see. 05 Ford F-150. Lariat? It's not no King Ranch. I wonder why they labeled, oh, this is a dealer only one. This one's got nice wheels and tires on it. The oof, it's a, yeah, it's a dealer vehicle, man. It's jacked up, and they can't figure out what's wrong with it. That's what it is. That's why it's a, it's a repossession. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ha, ha. 
And it don't run. Yep. Damn. All right. Let's look and see if we see anything else. That same Camaro has been up multiple times, but it's a V6, so it's trash. This Crosswinds has been up two weeks in a row. I wonder what's up with that, man. The damage is there on that corner. That ain't too bad to just seal that up. That's not bad. 01 Camry. Oh, what, where were we at? We were back at the RV. What the hell? Hold on. All right. It's at 325 bucks. Yeah. Level jack is manual. So they do have the AC there with it too. You got to check the RVs out in person. Okay. So I can see the damage there. Boom. Crack, crack glass, fiberglass. And down there in the corner. So like damage there. Damage down there at the bottom. Which you might not be able to see on today's video. But I see it. Alright. Not too bad. I mean it could be a good little weekend warrior thing. If you're willing to just patch it up. Ooh wee. Now I know. I know. Y'all are going to say don't do it. You're crazy. This is the most unreliable one. Look at the Christmas tree. I got it. I know. I know. I'm not stupid. I know that these weren't reliable. And they were trash. For real. But. With that said. It's a dealer only car anyway. And they probably want too much. Because I've seen this thing go up several times. Clear title though from Texas. Yeah I don't know. You know, I'm a sucker for a BMW, and I like reclamation projects. Like, something like this, I know you're telling me it's too much, you know, and you're going to get in, it's going to smoke, and you're going to have to do all these repairs, and yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. But, it doesn't mean I don't want it. Big key. Ooh, it runs. Hold on, let's see what it sounds like. It don't sound bad. Well, it runs. No knocks or rattles. That's a positive. Well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. A Harley Davidson. We got a bike coming up. See, with bikes, I got to actually get my hands on them. I can't just butt naked, just bid, bid out there butt naked and not see, see what it looks like. Oh, it runs, though. Let's see what it sounds like. I can rock with that. I can rock with that. Let's add that to the watch list. Add that to the watch list. Ah, oh, why you got to take me back every friggin' time, man, to the beginning of the list? God, I hate that. Passat SE, trash. Trash. That Lincoln Navigator's trash. Hey, look, the Chrysler 300 is still up. This is the same one that I bid on the other week. And they, with the damage in the rear, yeah. Yeah, they, good luck with that, man. They think they're going to get all that money out of that car. That thing is done, man. It's a parts car. Man, same thing with this Silverado, man, with 320-something thousand miles on it. I don't know what they think they're going to get out of that, man. Oh, man. This Ram, this one too. We saw this one. This was on the watch list, and I let this go because they bid this thing at like thirty three hundred or something. And if they didn't let it go at thirty three hundred, nah. Well, it runs. It doesn't tick. I'll add it to my watch list again. But God damn it, man. I hate when it does that, man. GMC Sierra. Gallant. No, no. Expedition. Eddie Bauer. 35 miles. Not actual. 
I gotta fit. I, I gotta know what's up with this. My sister had one of these. I loved this truck. It was cool. Inoperable. But it runs, right? Yeah, it runs. All right. What's the title look like? Clear Oklahoma title. Okay. Four by four. I'm going to add this one to the list. I mean, can't really go wrong on that, you know? Let's, uh, ah, screw it. Let's put a bit on it. Let's look and see if we can snipe this one real quick. All right, we're winning that one, guys. We are winning this at 550 bucks. I will take it. All day I'll take that. 550 bucks for a four-wheel drive truck? Hell yeah. Win. I will take that. I will take that all day. Uh, it would help if I'm actually recording, right? Sorry, I got myself kicked out and then I don't know what the hell happened. There we are. We were right here looking at this and then this thing was all clapped out. All clapped out, man. And it's at 13,000, like, tch, tripping. That Silverado we were looking at, I added it to the watch list. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything that's like, ooh, ooh, you gotta buy me, you gotta buy me. I'm just, I'm just not, nothing's just grabbing me, man. Wow, they're really not letting those RVs go for no money, huh? That went for like 12, or almost 12 grand, I think, last week, right? Man. Uh-oh. Yeah. You know we got to do something with this. I got to try to bid on that. Old diesel Mercedes. I don't know, man. It's weird. Like, I feel bad for people like Monkey Wrench Mike that have been doing Mercedes content forever. And now, like, Mercedes content's doing good. Range Rover content's doing good. I'm doing good with the BMW. I'm happy, man. Bad transmissions on those. I avoid those like the plague. That's not a bad car. We'll add that to the watch list. Bah, bah, bah. I'm not really... Ooh... Hold on, see, y'all heard me. Ooh, look at look at look at the title. Oh my God, Lemon Law Buyback. Oh my God, man, this is it right here. I I would buy this just to drive the shit all over the place and be like, yo, this this shit right here was Lemon Law Buyback, and I'm driving it. I like I don't know if I like the way that sounds. We're gonna pre-bid on it right now though. The Lemon Law Range Rover, $25. Here we go. Close. We're in the building. Boom. We are winning that Range Rover for 25 bucks. Alright, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I don't know if I posted a bonus video for you guys earlier or not. Maybe I'll post one later. Uh, but that's the vehicles that I'm looking into this week. You guys can see the ones that I bid on or added to my watch list. Those are the ones that I'll be taking a shot at. Um, so follow along. I'll probably be posting some stuff on my Instagram if I win something around 1030 in the morning um, or, you know, around the time that you're probably seeing this video. So um, with that said, thank you guys very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.